Hey everyone, Sir Terman here again. So today we're going to continue our showcase of Red Yellow Sabo. Again, I apologize for my less than ideal audio. I am in a hotel, so I'm recording this from a laptop and from a slightly shitty headset. So yesterday you saw us do a deck breakdown and some matches against Sakasuki. Today we're going to continue the showcase of this leader. We're going to have two games against Gecko Moira. We're going to have one game against a black yellow Luffy. And then we're going to finish up with some with a little bit of a throwaway game against a Nami player. So just like I mentioned yesterday, it's all about just putting a lot of pressure with this Ace and Luffy rushers. While also being able to get value from this Sabo ability to buff one of your other units when necessary. So I hope that you enjoy the games coming up soon. And if you do, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy the games. In this match, we're going against Get Kamora. So, 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 how are we doing this? How are we doing this? I mean, it's just been aggressive, right? Eventually, the Morley or the Luffy can get through their blockers. So, we want to get them down to zero, have the Morley or the Luffy to kind of push the last bit of damage. We have too many trigger cards in my hand, right? Too many trigger cards in my hand, so we get the we get a, still a lot of trigger cards, but this time we get two searchers. Let's see what the opponent hit. They hit the Perona, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, they hit the Perona, which is a little bit annoying. We whip the second one here. Uh, yeah, the Perona is really annoying. Maybe we actually are giving them the Okiku here. Do we ever actually? Mm. What if we don't give the Okiku? What if we take the Limburg and take this damage here? And we go... I guess we'll go 8. I mean, I could, I'm also not opposed to going 5-5. Five, five. I'm not opposed to going 5-5 five, five and just force 2 cards out of the opponent. I want to see if the opponent takes them both. Yeah, I want to see if the opponent... If they go to 3, the Okiku actually looks a lot better. Because it means that the opponent would not be able to kill this Okiku anymore. Okay, they counter that one. So I guess we just go another Garp. And uh, now the opponent knows we have Luffy in my hand. We don't have the little kids, right? So this is actually getting dicey. But we also haven't seen our little kids in any of our three searchers. Which tells me that there's a good chance that we just have them on our life. Um... Okiku is not doing much here anymore. She's coming down too late. I wanted to get the opponent to three in case that we have a Neko or a second Okiku in our life. We have two 2k counters, but nothing else. Opponent drew a Suru from that brand new. They have another... No, they don't have Perona or Absalom here. Yeah, they don't have Perona or Absalom. We want to go down to... We do want to go down to two life, though. I can tell you that much, so that we can start enabling this ace. So what is this? Hogback? What are you getting back with Hogback? Your Sentry? I guess they get another 2k, right? Yeah, I guess sure. I want to take it just to guarantee that I go to 2, right? Uh, I'm down to give them a 2k counter here. Because I was going to counter that anyways there. Yeah, we'll go like this. So, the play here is going to be Ace, Sabo, right? Yeah, so we go Ace here. I want to look for the little kids. So, we go Ace to get them down to three. We know that the opponent... I mean, I guess we can go here. We know that the opponent has a bunch of 2k counters, right? They have the Suru, the Sindris that we saw earlier. So we're looking for the little ace. We're looking for the little ace. Without the little ace, our leader is never going to be at 7k. Opponent still has a lot of life. They still have three life, right? So this is going to be very dicey for us to do anything. This is an easy 2k. I guess opponent can just Absalom this garb. No, it's going to be hog back into Moria. Yeah, it's going to be hog back into Moria. And once they have the Moria, it's going to be really hard for us to do anything. Like, really hard. I guess I could have played Okiku instead and just set up for, like, Okiku. Hmm. Debatable. 
it will have pushed one less life are you really choosing between yeah okay so yeah that's, that's what i was gonna say like you always choose that right let's keep the hiori just in case we'll take one life here and counter the other one opponents has four down so they could have a blocker These Luffy's are nice. Whoa, that's that's kind of smart. That's kind that, that's really smart, right? It's forcing me to have to give you more cards. Trigger, thank you. All right, so now we're talking. Now we're talking. So now we can go seven. Leave that on my life. Buff this up. Still have three darn, right? So we can go seven and eight. We can go seven three times, I guess. Yeah, we can go like this. Seven here. I wish I had the little kid, though. I wish we had the little kid. Uh, we'll go like this. This is at seven. So we'll go seven here. You have to start countering, which you will. So I guess we'll go for eight. Uh, I guess, honestly, let's go seven again, and let's just go three into the brand new. I want to actually get rid of that brand new. You want to give me a 1k here? Okay. And we'll just go seven, and just... Opponent's going to take this seven no matter what. Oh, they actually didn't take the seven. They didn't take that seven. Wait a second. I didn't expect that. If we get the little ace, opponent could still technically die. But it has to be specifically the little ace. Opponent can go Moira here. They have Lushi and Hell Mepo, so they can kill this very easily. Yeah, Lushi can KO both. Um one, two attacks, right? I guess okay, opponent can go nine. I have to give them this 2k here. Okay. They could attack me with Sindri, huh? You do it. Do the Sindri attack. I know you want it. <laughs> so they're going to just kill this, right? Yeah, they're going to just kill that. And then they kind of kill me next time anyways. They just need to keep themselves a blocker here. Yeah, that was cute. Yeah, it doesn't matter what I do. Yeah, they killed this. Yeah, it was just a little bit too much. I guess if I attack... Like, if I left brand new alive here, I think opponent would just kill me. Yeah, opponent just had too much removal. I just, again, I didn't find my little kids. So, my leader never been at 7. Just made it so hard. Because by the time I found this Luffy, it was, like, a little bit too late. So, like, I guess we gotta go, I guess we gotta go for it, right? We go 5, 1 down on the Luffy, that's 7. Two down here, that's seven, and then... I guess, okay, so... One, two, three, four, five. Attack for seven. Put put the Luffy down. One down here. All right, so yeah, I guess we gotta go for it. Yeah, we gotta go for it, right? We gotta go seven. Hope that the opponent just doesn't have any more answers, right? So seven here. I don't care about this. You can trash the Okiku. Go like this, put this on the top, select no targets, go Luffy, deploy the Luffy, attack for seven again, and attack for eight. If you have the counter, you have the counter, right? And then eight. And we win. Yeah, you gotta just go for it. <laughs> you gotta just go for it. Yeah, again, do you see how important those little kids are? Like, if we had the little kids anytime earlier, this match would have been so much better for us. We know that the opponent has given us a lot of counters, right? We knew we were going to lose next turn, so we had to just go for it no matter what. Um, I'm glad I did it. <laughs> I'm glad I did it because I feel like this would have been like... That would have been such a tragic loss, right? The, the thing about having the little kids is that it puts my leader at an extra 2k, which means that the Sabo attack is stronger. And it also means that I'm not taking as much damage as I'm taking because now... All their 5k attacks, like the opponent kept doing all game long, don't really matter, right? So, opponent had two more deck cards in their hand. They drew into, I guess, Brand New or Perona. 
it wasn't enough to counter the stuff out and we just exactly got there so wow GG's. In this match we could against Gekko Moira so it's all about rushing them down and uh, this hand is great but I think we have too many non-counter cards right I think we want to find like our searchers for it and we get exactly that so we'll go Garp here we have the Luffy so let's just grab the Luffy let's just grab the Luffy and let's just grab a second Luffy here Opponent knows exactly what I'm trying to do now because we showed them that we got two Luffy's. Yep, be my guest. You can go ahead and do your Perona, right? Um, we'll probably attack for seven. I, I want, I want to use this. I want to use this. So uh, let's give them one Luffy. I don't think I need them both. Ooh, okay. Well, I mean, Okiku is kind of hot. I guess Okiku still doesn't do anything. I should have thought about this a little bit better, right? Because Okiku doesn't do anything right now. She just gets punished. Like, opponent could technically remove Okiku right now if they have Absalon and Grey Eruption. Let's force him to have both. Let's force him to have Absalon and Grey Eruption. Next up, we have Sid Stun, so we can attack for 7. Sentry. Okay, so they have the Absalon. And they have the Grey Eruption. And they find it. Okay, so they find their, they find their combo. That's alright. So they get to kill the Okiku without me healing anything, which is really what I was scared about. We could go Luffy into uh, Sitsuke attack next turn, and I guess I'd be okay with that. I don't wanna... Um, I guess let's go like this for now. And let's give the 1k. Okay, we have Ace now. Oh man, I wish... Mm. Yeah, I guess we'll go like this. We'll go Sits. Just start rushing them down. Go Sits again. And put that life back on the top. Oh, wait. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. It's not a 7k. I messed up. I played that too fast. Two things, right? I played the Okiku turn too fast. And now I play this turn too fast as well. I'm okay with this here. Yeah, I'm okay with it. I guess I could have gone 7 then instead. Okay. You want to kill this Luffy. If you cannot kill this Luffy, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, you want to get rid of this Luffy. Yep. So you want to get rid of this Luffy. You have another Absalon. They probably have it in their hand. Yeah, they have it. We will have this Ace now. We have to find a, the third Luffy because we already sent two. Well, that's a good hit, right? That's exactly good enough. Yeah, that's good enough for me. We'll go Ace. Okay. We'll send this to live. We'll go ahead and give this. Then we'll go here. Go ahead. Play the ace. Attack for seven again. Playing with fire here. But the idea is that we get the opponent to one. Uh, to zero, I guess. And again, if we get the Luffy, we're chilling. The opponent has to play blockers now. We're at 7k leader. We have two 2k counters and a 1k. So I don't think I'm dying. Opponent is going to go ahead and try to kill this ace. My friend, if you play Lushi here, you, you're going to lose to a Maru. Imagine if I had a Maru here. Alright, so... Three sets. So the opponent can go up to 11. We're at 7. We can go 9... 11 12 right so i think we just take this one opponent can knock a bit of the ace while also summoning a blocker here yep they went for the 11 which means that we just go 2k 2k and i guess just give them another 2k just because and then we just win the game i think opponent also ended up playing too fast we both played too fast look at what we had on the top of our deck right if the opponent went for Sabo, they could have drawn another 1k. So they could have drawn a 1k, and I can't really tell what the next card is. Ah, uh, yeah, 1k and like, okay. So they could have had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If they play Sabo, and we had 10 Dawn, so we could have gone, I guess we also had the Amaru. 
So we could have attack. We could have spread it out, right? We could have put four, five here, three here. Or I guess we could have put like four here to go to nine plus a Maru to go to 12. And then put the other four here to go to 11. We had an 11 and a 12. And opponent could have only gone up to seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I can't tell where the next car is because I'm going too fast. So yeah, All right. I mean, it, opponent got pretty safer. They should have known that I had enough to save myself. Otherwise, I could, I wouldn't have left myself that vulnerable. So, GG's. In this match, we're gonna against Luffy. So Ace versus Luffy. Um, I wanna go second. I think this is a great hand, right? We have the two Luffys. We have the Garp Garp. Now the opponent, the, the problem here is that the opponent's leader can go all the way to like 9K, right? Um, we can usually only go to seven. They get their ace. We also don't want to take them to zero life too early, right? Let's get ace first because we already have the Luffy. And I guess we'll get the little ace now. And we just go like this, right? So we have both aces, both Luffy's. We can attack for five and play the Neko, or we could just attack for nine and just chill. We also know that the opponent doesn't really have a way to remove my stuff. Hmm, okay, so they decided to take... They're playing... Yeah, okay, so they're playing the Maki now. So they reordered the life. So that means that they have... Yeah, they have the Ace, but they don't have the Rush, right? They're just going to attack me for 7 here. And we get to just play this Neko for free now. So that's huge. Oh, they had the Rush. Oh, yeah, it counts after. So I think I'm fine like this, right? Yeah, I think I'm fine like this. And it, now the opponent's unit is at 7, so that's a little bit annoying. We also, I mean, the opponent doesn't have anything on their trash that really matters. They're going to have to put their kids on the trash. Um, I mean, we can put this Neko back, right? We can put the Neko back, give this 2, and we can attack for 7 3 times. We can attack for seven three times. I don't even want to put their ace there. Yeah, so I guess we can go like this. We can go for seven three times. See what the opponent does. Give me one case, one case, one case. I'm okay. If you want to stay at two life, I'm okay with that. Because we don't want to get them to zero to not let them get the value from their stuff, right? It's a little bit weird, though. I want to I want to eat up cards. I want to eat up cards from their hand here. Again, we can put the Neko back to our life. Buff of the Morley. I guess maybe we should get the Morley because it, it punishes. But the thing is that Morley requires me to play a car, uh, to discard a car while Neko doesn't, right? So that's why I like keeping the Neko. So the opponent gives me the 1K here. Uh, so I guess we'll go like this. Attack them for seven again. And if they want to just give me 1k, 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 I'm also cool with that. Because again, the Luffy ability doesn't activate until they are zero, right? So it doesn't activate until they are zero. So as long as the opponent is not a zero life, I'm less scared of whatever they can do. So they already gave me two 1k's, including a little Sabo. And they gave me a 2k there, so I guess we just chill. This... It stays permanently on the Morley as well. So the Morley's at 7k still. And again, we, we have to leave the opponent at 1 HP so that we can just kill them in one shot. Now, leaving them at 1 HP means that the opponent could have another Makino or another Hiyori, but we're forcing them to have to give us a 2k to get themselves to zero life, which is important, right? So we leave them at 1 and force them to give us a, a second Makino or a second Hiyori to take themselves back to zero so that they can actually go ahead and do their Luffy combo, which, by the way, they only have one 5 cast right now in their graveyard, so it's not like they can actually... It's not like they can actually get it either. If they're attacking to my life, they see that I'm just going to get that Neko for free. And this is what makes Sabo very powerful, that you literally just put this Neko back and now the opponent has a harder time dealing with you, right? Next up, we have Sid Stan. So we can kind of just do the same thing. Okay, so the opponent's going to actually just... Wait, uh, I guess they rearranged it. Okay, all right. So they knew that was there. They knew that, they knew that was there because they rearranged their life. 
This also means that they can take that last life and now they can go ahead and put, but they can only put one, right? I guess they can trash another five kid, five kid right now. Yeah, so they rearranged their life earlier with the Machina, so they knew that that Luffy was there. I was wondering, was like, did they just like YOLO that? But they didn't YOLO that. They knew that. It, they knew that it was there. Um, we can. Do we let this Marley go? Do we let this Marley go? They okay, so they're gonna put the Yamato. Okay, so that's kind of cool, right? They get to put the Yamato on the Luffy. They can go ahead and do the same thing here next time with the Luffy, right? They're going to put Sabu from... They put Sabu from their hand. So they're going to go after this Marley. We probably just let it go, right? Opponent shouldn't be attacking here with their ace. Don't let me get this Neko for free. Don't make a mistake. Yep. So they did it the right way. They don't make the mistake here. They are at seven here. Um, what I can do is that I can just set myself up. I mean, I could also just put an, I could just put the, well, I guess I cannot put the Luffy. I could set myself up for next time. Like we can play this ace. I'm concerned. Like, if we go for 9 here, we know that the opponent cannot stop this, right? So, the opponent cannot stop this 9k. So, we'll, they lose that Sabo. We can throw this Ace down. Or do we do the Luffy? I like the Ace because we can go Ace, attack with Ace, put it on the top, and then resummon it with the little Ace, right? So, we're just going to put this Ace down and just set up for the next one to finish the game. So again, opponent has to take their own life here with the Luffy, trashing that Luffy anyways. They're gonna get to draw a card because of that. And then they can put that Luffy and their mantle back to their life, right? Yep, so they go ahead and do it, they draw the card. But they have, to, I mean, they, I guess they can choose not to attack into me. But again, the idea here is that next will be able to have this ace come down, attack the opponent. Yeah, they're gonna go Luffy and Yamato. They have to trash a car here. I guess if they got the Sabo, the five cost Sabo, this could be a problem. I have to be worried about Moria coming down soon as well. But the opponent doesn't have a lot of big kids in their trash to really make this worth it. I guess the Luffy can also kill the Sabo eventually. But again, the problem is how much value the opponent gets from the leader continuously going to a 7k and a 9k. So they trash Machina. They trash the Mac, you know. I gotta... <coughs> Ooh, I'm sorry. I didn't mute myself on time. They put the Yamato on the Luffy. They take the Luffy hit so that they can go to seven. But means that you have one less life. I'm sorry. I, I meant to... <laughs> I meant to, like, cover my nose there. You go to seven here, but you only have one card. They decide not to attack. Which is actually funny, because by not attacking, they actually make it so that... I cannot actually kill them. I mean, if I attack with the Amato, wait, if I, okay, opponent has one, two, three, four, we have three cards. Huh. Hmm. If we go five with Luffy, one, and then seven, we can go seven twice, right? We can go seven twice and put the Luffy in the top of our life. Yeah, I think I like this. I think I like this. We'll be completely safe. We go seven and then seven again. Opponent loses the Yamato here or they have to give me their last card. No matter what, they have to leave, give me the last card in their hand, right? So we'll go like this and we'll buff this up. And opponent has to give me this last card. They don't even have the last card, so they literally just lose. Okay. And the reason that I like this play over the other one is because this gives me the Luffy on the top of my life. So now I have Luffy and Neko, and opponent only has one, two, three, four attacks, right? I guess they could have like, and they could attack with the Garp as well. But the fact that I just added an extra life and the opponent just let me heal like that, 
me is that I'm just chilling, right? We had just enough done to go seven twice while still allowing myself to put the loop in the top. And that's what makes this deck so powerful that you can like attack with your rush units and they just add them to your life and the opponent cannot do anything about it. So GG. In this match, we're gonna get Nami. Uh, this is interesting, right? Because my ace is not gonna matter in this matchup. We just need to go aggro, aggro, aggro. They also, my triggers are also not gonna matter. Because opponent can just... Okay, well, the ace is weird. Because the ace has... It won't have rush. It won't have rush. Because I'm not gonna go down to two life here, right? So I'm gonna have to just rely on this instead. And just go for it. Now, obviously, Nami... Okay, they get the Kaya. Unfortunately, we have no way to kill the Kaya. Opponent keeps one done, so they have access to their... Now, the great thing here is that we are able to buff our stuff, right? We are able to buff our units. Uh, we're going to go for seven. Because seven requires two cards out of the opponent. It has to be like a... I guess it could just be a rubber band. Uh, a rubber... Well, okay. They actually are going to give me two cards. So they discarded the white, sn the white snake. And they also gave me the 1k. I was going to say it could be the... Uh, the one the one drop stuff right yeah so we, we whiffed here that's cool go pass because you want to attack for seven or for nine against snappy you don't want to just attack for uh five like six right so that's what kind of makes this loopy a little bit awkward as well what i can do is that i can go ahead and i mean the problem is that when it continues throwing away there's what the white snake which i think is actually kind of crazy um yeah, I guess we'll just go like this for this one. I don't think I have a choice. Yeah, let them get the Desert Doom, and then we're just going to always go here anyways. And then we go Luffy, and just get some damage in. Get a 2k counter, get the first trigger. My problem is that I cannot use my, lo my Sabo ability, because it's just going to have that card get stuck on the top of the deck. Now, next thing we have seven done, so I guess we can go five, seven, and seven. Okay, opponent's just getting so much value from these Kayas. It's actually ridiculous. Like, so much value. But if they play Kaya here, they're tapping out. So if they play Kaya, they're tapping out of any event next then, and that's why they didn't do anything else here. Uh, if I had a Luffy, this would be so much nicer. But we don't, so unfortunately for us. Uh, I think I'd rather just go 5, 7, and 7. With one done, again, the opponent just has like a bunch of... It could be the the uh, the gavel. There you go. So they give me the gavel. So we know that the opponent has exactly Kaya in their hand. Yeah, so the opponent has exactly Kaya in their hand. Uh, so I guess we'll just go here and attack for 7 again. And that's the first life. Or second life, sorry. And unfortunately, you got the impel down all stars. So now they can go ahead and do. Yeah, they go Kaya, trash more cards. They trash a death wink, which tells me they have a second death wink in their hand. They're gonna try to attack into my leader. Uh, and I'm gonna have to just go 7, 8, 9, 10. I have to just take it. Yeah, sure. Yep, I mean, that alone just wins in the game, right? I just didn't get any 2Ks, so the, the, this Hiyori came a little bit too late. Uh, Yeah, I guess we'll go, again, the opponent has exactly 3, so they can still have that death wing. So we can go 7, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and then I guess a 6. Uh, do we actually think they're gonna... Yeah, I think we think we just go for it. I think we go 7. Yeah, if you have another gavel, you have another gavel. It's love, love, okay? That means that you cannot play that second death wink if they have it. We'll go 7 again. Okay. Uh, if I want to play around with gavel, I should attack for 9 here. But then that means I don't have any other unit to attack with. But I think at this point, we're probably not attacking with any other unit here. 
So I think we just go like this. We just go nine, I guess. We could go five and nine, force the opponent to give me a car. I'm down for this. Let's go five and then nine. Just force a car out of their hand. We see three death wings in the trash. The opponent actually took that. Uh, they are 12. They are 12. That's the fourth death wing. We attack for nine here. So that's going to be a gavel plus something else. And they don't have it. So, I mean, I guess they have. They can find like a, they can just go all in on Seth. Or a second Kaya also helps out a lot. They could have enough cards. They, they could keep enough events so they can get to zero here. Yeah, so we can go here, here, and here. They keep five with nine cards. Interesting. Five with nine cards. I guess we'll just go all in, right? Either they have it or they don't. Yeah, either they have it or they don't. Technically, it's more valuable if I... No, because that's going to force me to have to use two down, and it's just going to give this 2k. Right? So I guess we just go all in, and if they have if they have the gavel and everything else, they just win the game. Yep. So you either have it or you don't. So they have five down, nine cards, six cards. So overheat. They have used all their death wings. Love, love. They could counter out of this, to be honest. They have one. Yeah, they could counter out of this. But then I still have two attacks, technically. A five and a six. So the overheat was definitely not one that I played around. And they just don't have enough done, right? They don't have enough done. So it doesn't matter. And we just end up winning the game. So GG's. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoyed those games of Sabo. Uh, honestly, those games against Moria were super fun. I feel like I could have definitely lost them against better players, in my opinion. Uh, but you kind of see the pressure that we were able to put there, right? We got to win one game literally by 1k counter. We got to win the second game because the opponent got a little bit too greedy and didn't play defensively with their Sabo. We also got to see us winning that black yellow Luffy game. Now, to be fair, the opponent didn't find their 5 cost Sabo there, the black Sabo. Uh, but we still kind of show what we had to do. Just put a lot of pressure, have the 7k attacks, and the opponent just didn't have anything. And we were able to just out-pressure them from there. And then the Nami, it was an interesting matchup. I felt like the opponent got a lot of good value, especially that one Seth attack, mailing 7 cards from the top of their life, at uh, the top of their deck. And then somehow we still won. Somehow we still won. We probably just ended up drawing the, their deck incorrectly and... They couldn't do anything from there. So sometimes that's how it's going to be. But you can, again, you kind of get to still see what this deck can do and just the type of pressure you can just put into opponents and just force them to have to give you cards over and over and over again. So yeah, we have one more video of Red, Yellow, Sabo coming out tomorrow. So if you want to stick around and watch that, make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy your day. Uh, actually, before I leave, I also have a Twitch. You can also find me on Twitch the terminal. We'll be streaming now and then. And you can also find us on Discord and Twitter. The links to those are both in the description below. I almost always forget that part. So, yeah. Now, I'll see you all again tomorrow.